from KPRC. You're watching Local 2 News at 10. Local 2 investigates the pain at the pump. You're paying nearly four bucks a gallon right now. So why is it so expensive? Well, tonight, KPRC Local 2 investigative reporter Amy Davis is going to take you 200 miles out to sea to guide you from the Gulf to the gas pump. It's a two-hour trip in a helicopter for Devon Energy employees to get to work here on Ocean Endeavor. It's a deep-water oil rig 200 miles off the coast of New Orleans in the Gulf of Mexico. Pick it up, hold it up in there. It's mission to find oil some 30,000 feet or more than five miles below sea level. Demand is so high right now. It's all about supply and demand. Because of the price of oil, uh, everybody's out exploring for it. With hundreds of companies drilling every day, the oil and gas industry is a complicated field to follow. So to put the price of gas into perspective, we're taking you on board one offshore rig. Why don't y'all take that easy tour? While the focus here is on finding oil, the crew, about 140 employees each shift, spends more time preparing and maintaining equipment than actually drilling. Every movement is methodical and painfully slow. When crews need to replace a drill bit or pull this drill up for any reason, it can take up to 10 hours. We're very much uh, trying to be as efficient as possible. And efficiency is crucial because Devin says operating this rig costs $9 every second. That's $32,000 an hour. It's not that we're uh, spending a lot of money for no reason here. We're moving into 8,000 feet of water uh, with high risk, high cost, and uh, uh, only one in four wells again will be successful. So how much of what happens here affects what you pay here? Take a look. The average price of gas in Houston today is $3.94 a gallon. According to the American Petroleum Institute, 13% of that, or 51 cents, goes to taxes. Another 17%, or 67 cents, is the cost to refine, transport, and market the gas to your local gas station. The majority, 70%, or $2.76 of that $3.94, is the cost of exploration and production. And that 70%, the part you see here, is the cost that keeps rising. Pain of the pump has reached record highs. Well when the price of oil goes up, costs to companies like Devon go up too. It's simple supply and demand. The big debate now is exactly what is driving those oil prices higher. Some say increased demand from countries like China and India, or the decline of the dollar while others argue speculation is falsely inflating the price. A barrel of oil these days is selling for more than $140. Last year, the same barrel averaged $72. Getting some of that money is what encouraged Devon to spend $900 million this year looking for oil in the Gulf of Mexico alone. But for all of that expense, consider this. Crews here on Ocean Endeavor in a year's time haven't discovered a single drop of oil. Yeah, all right, we're going to just put it in the bushes. And when or if they do hit black gold, you probably won't notice a correlating drop in gas prices because oil discovered way out here takes seven to ten years to get to your corner convenience store. Now, our visit to Endeavor was weeks before presidential candidates John McCain and Barack Obama made offshore drilling an issue in the campaign. In the interest of full disclosure, we did fly to the rig on Devon's helicopter, and after our return, we learned that lobbyists for the oil and gas industry have embarked on a multi-million dollar campaign, part of the money, to fly members of the media to offshore rigs to in turn convince the public that rising energy prices are not the producer's fault. Amy Davis, KPRC, Local 2. The demand for oil is creating a boom reminiscent of the 1970s, and it's evident on the oil rigs Amy showed you, and also at universities across Texas. So tomorrow night at 10 o'clock, we're going to take you to Texas A&M to show you how that university is handling the surge. And if you have a story for Local 2 Investigates, call the tip line at 713-223-TIPS, or email local2investigates at click2houston.com.